Just the previous week, Patroba Chisika had undergone an operation that left her with pains in her stomach. Apart from this, both her and her mother carried a generational problem in their right leg from which they needed deliverance. God divinely arranged for their coming to Open Heavens Ministry on this Friday service that they be set free. See what happened after prayer. Hands on your microphone, people, you're feeling me. Okay, I'm Patro Batisika from Western, but right now I'm living here at Kangemi. I had operation last week. I was suffering from endometriosis with herniation. You are tricky. Sorry? You are tricky. Are you tricky? Tricky, no. Uh, you are what? I'm Isuha. Isuha. Yes, uh -huh. Isuha. So last week I was being operated, and from apart from operation, you have endometriosis with endometriosis, herniation. Yes. Kando na hiyo humugu kuanzia hapa inamiaka miwili ina huma tu kitu utembea from hapa mbad bakachini kukanyaga ina kuwa nivigumu ikianza kuuma ina shikagote. Na si mimi peke yangu kwa familia yetu tuko watoto 8 watano wote tunaugua mguu mmoja mamangu hapa pia anaugua the same same leg mimi niko na spirit of rejection and stagnation in life nimeishi kutamani kusafiri i traveled last uh, 2018 to Qatar i stayed for only 3 months Kila mahali nilikuwa ninaenda nilikuwa napendwa siku moja ya pili ninakataliwa kurudi kwangu Kenya it was god ndoa nina shida ndoa yangu ya kwanza Where was the operation And this is my mother Don't worry don't worry get a seat get a proper seat You don't have to. You don't have to. The Holy Spirit will touch even what we did not know. How did you know of this place? Ndio siku yangu ndio iweka makesho kwenda kwa operation. Nilichelewa kupanda gari. So nilipokuja kila gari ilikuwa inanikata. How did you know of the place? How did you know of the place? Kuna mtu nilipata kwa gari ndi alianza kuniadidia kuhusu hili kanisa. Thank you. Pain completely disappear in Jesus Christ's name. Thank you, Jesus. Give me your hand. Give me your hand, Patroba. Thank you, Lord. I rise. Jesus. I feel no more pain even in my leg. I feel no more pain even in my stomach. 
Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Look at look at the daughter having the pain. The mom is the same leg also. That is the devil is a liar. And man of God, she has four years. She can't even squat. She can't even even to sit. It is a problem. Walking, it is a problem. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Thank you, Jesus Christ. This is her, but her name is very Chicago. Okay. Praise God. Praise God once more. I'm Patroba Tisika from Western. Currently, I'm um, at Kangemi, Nairobi here. Yeah, I came here while I was in pain. First of all, I was being operated last week. I was suffering from endometriosis with herniation. Secondly, I was having pain from here to down. But when man of God prayed for me, brethren, I feel I'm okay. I have no pain. Even when I was seated there, I was feeling a lot of pain. But I give glory back to Jesus for whatever he has done for me. I know open and heaven ministry through a friend from Matatu. From Matatu? Yes. From when God wants Matatu. to save you? From my neighbor in Matatu. Yes, yes, yes. Ata siju story. kuongea nini? Okay, na hapa ni mamangu mpendwa anaitwa Lydia. Ametoka Western kusafiri kuja kuniona kwa ajili ya operation. Nikamwambia mama nilipokuwa nasafiri nenda nenda hospitali kwa ajili ya operation. Nilipata rafiki kwa gari akanielezea kuhusu Open and Heavens Ministry. Akanielezea akaniambia kwa ajili ya kuhusu kufika hapa. Nikamwambia mama napenda maombi na maombi ndio yamefanya hata operation yangu ikaenda through. So kabla urudi nyumbani ningeomba tuende huko kwa ajili ya magonjwa unayopitia mguu mkono kwa familia yetu wote tuko na shida na miguu ya right na mamangu naye mkono na mguu zote kuna shida. But sasa hizi ananiambia ana feel mkono wenye umekuwa ukimuma for the last four years na mguu wake wenyewe anasema ana feel uko light where by last year again alipata accident the same same leg ambapo hiyo mguu haijai kuwa na joto ilikuwa inauma ikaanza kuuma hezi tembea hezi kula hezi lala but sasa anasema anasikia hiyo mguu iko light hadi ameanza kuishikashika namrudishia Mungu sensation has come uh, thank you Jesus tunamrudishia Mungu shukurani kwa yote ambayo ametenda kwa ajili hata ya kunipangia nichelewe gari zote zinikata ili nipate hiyo gari nipate rafiki ndani ya gari ili anieleze kuhusu open and heavens ministry man thank of you, god Mungu. we we thank god hachana <laughs> mama juu kuongea mami kuja tembea na tembea na mami shindano na sasa nimepona nimedungwa shindano shindano na Yesu nimedungwa shindano na sasa nimepona shindano ya Yesu nimedungwa shindano na sasa nimepona nimedungwa shindano shindano na Yesu nimedungwa shindano sasa nimepona Thank you Jesus look at that Asante kwa yote Asante 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 Na mwami Yesu itoa minye Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana Amen Amen Mama Yeye imetosha Kiswahili unajua sana Asante Yesu Monday Tuesday Wednesday, Sunday. Ndio kule mami. 
kulia hii mtakulia hii hata salamu mtasalamu shika pesa na hiyo kwanza tuona vile iko na nguvu na dadako anachunguza na dadako ana kama sade yeye mnasemanga mapasa wanachukua pesa za watu yeye umechukuliwa ngapi ona mpaka sale imebadilika sale thank you A few days later, Patroba returned to Open Heavens Ministry to confirm that indeed the healing she received together with her mom was permanent. She adds that through the seed that Prophet Alan Jumba sowed to her mother, financial doorways opened in that family members who never used to send her money began to. Let us listen. Amen. Church bwana asifiwe. Amen. Asifiwe tena. Amen. Mimi namshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Sijui pa kuanzia na pa kumalizia kwa wale walioniona tarehe nane wanaweza wakasema. Mimi nimekuwa mgonjwa for the last two years. Uh, nilikuwa nimefura, nilikuwa na uvimbe kwenye tumbo. So nikajaribu kwenda Nairobi West wakaniambia hawaoni ugonjwa nikarudi mara ya pili wakaniambia hawaoni tena kukatokea safari ya ghafla kuenda ni niliposafiri nikaenda hospitali nyingine pale nyumbani ni general wakaniambia hawaoni ugonjwa so niliporudi ni kazi ni kwenye huwa nafanya kuna um, soja alikuwa na something kwa jicho lake lakini nilipotoka nyumbani kumuuliza mbona ile hiyo kitu ilikuwa kwa jicho lako ilitolewa azinu litolea wapi akaniambia litolea hospitali ya Mbakadhi nikamwambia mimi nina uchungu uvimbe hadi ushatoka nje lakini nimetembea hospitali kadhaa ninaambiwa ugonjwa haionekani hiyo uvimbe iko tu juu kama ni kutolewa ni wengine wanaweza kata tu hivyo juu akaniambia nenda hospitalini mbakadhi uexaminiwe utaambiwa ni nini kinakukula nilipoenda mbakadhi nilianza kwenda mbakadhi mwezi wa sita mwezi wa saba, wa saba wote nilikuwa nafanya test nikaambiwa kuwa nina ugonjwa unaoitwa endometriosis symptoms inafanya ifanye operation nilienda hapo nikaambiwa nikabukiwa date mwanzo date ya kufanyia operation ni kwa ngumu manake wa operation zilikuwa zimejaa hadi next year mwezi wa nne eh. lakini Mungu ni wa maajabu daktari aliniambia wewe unaumia na hii kitu ikiendelea ku grow itakuja kuletea shida hadi hautawahi pata mtoto tena so aliingia kwa kitabu akaangalia akapata mwezi wa kumi. kuangalia kwa, kwa um, siku moja na inafa, iyo operation ya gaina inafanyika once in a week so kwenda kwa hiyo date alipata watu wawili wameandikwa na mtu mmoja aliandikwa hapo katikati na wakamfuta akasema kwa hivyo hii ndio nafasi tutaitumia manake inafaa wakwe watu watatu lakini hivi sasa tumepata ni watu wawili nikabukiwa kubukiwa nikajipanga nikajitayarisha nikaenda mbakadhi kwenda mbakadhi nikalala siku ya pili emergency wenye walikuwa wamebukiwa hiyo siku ya house huyo specialist surgeon walikuwa watu saba emergency zikakuja mbili na hiyo operation inafaa ifanyiwe siku moja na hao watu wote plus sisi So ikasemekana hakuna vile watu wote manake kuna wale wenye walikuwa washalazwa kuanzia last week plus sisi wenye tumelazwa kuongezea na emergency zenye zinakuja zikiongezeka itakuwa vigumu walipofikwa wamefika kwa faili yangu nimeitwa kusimama daktari mwingine akatoka nyuma akasema patroba leo hataenda kufanywa operation kisa na maana kuna emergency mingi zimefatanishwa kufikia saa hizi zimefika mbili. so tukimweka hapa bill itakuwa mingi na itabidi akae hapa mpaka next monday 
ndiye atafanywa operation yake manake yeye wao kliniki yao iko na specialist surgeon akaniambia nataka nikusaidie wacha nipeleke faili yako juu upewe bill ulipe uende home nilirudi kwa bed nikaambia Mungu Mungu najua unakusudi haya yote yafanyike watu hawezi kuwa walikuwa wanaitwa jina yangu ifikiwe faili imechukuliwa naitwa nipelekwe theater lafi semekane emergency zimekuwa mingi una sababu nimekubali acha niondoke nikaondoka nikaenda nikarudi nyumbani nikaambiwa sa next monday ndio nitakuwa naenda kufanywa upasuaji wapendwa siku yako ikifika imefika niliteremka kwenda stage siku yangu ya kwenda theater gari zilikuwa zinakuja zinanikata gari zinakuja zinanikata kasema time ime, inaelekea na tuliambiwa ukichelewa unarudishwa home na haijulikani ni lini tena na ndio hiyo booking ya ambakadhi imefika mwezi wa nne. so itabidi nifanyie operation mpaka mwezi wa tani kaambia Mungu Mungu unajua ni kwa nini acha nitulie gari lilitoka huko likasimama mama nilikuwa nikaingia ndani nilipoingia ndani nikiwa nimeketi nina hizi vitu za masikio zinajita earpod nikachukua kimoja nikaeka kwa masikio juu nilikuwa nataka kufuatilia preaching plan so my neighbor akapotelea akili yake kwa hizo earpods akaanza kuziangalia akaniuliza naweza nikaziona kwa sababu zinaonyesha mpaka percentage ya moto nini na nikamwambia ni sawa unaweza ukaziona na unaenda wapi nikamwambia nenda prayers nikitoka prayers niende ward nafanywa operation kesho unaenda prayers wapi na unaacha kanisa huku nyuma nikamwambia sijui kama kuna kanisa mahali akaniambia mimi hata nimetoka church saa hii na sita kuficha prophet TB Joshua alikufa lakini ametuzalishia Kenya makanisa mangapi matatu hivyo ndivyo huyo neighbor aliniambia na kwa hayo makanisa kuna kanisa moja alinitajia sijui kwa umoja wapi na ingine iko huko Udhiru lakini huyu pasta wa Udhiru ako more powerful naweza nikakuwa advice ni vile tumepatana na wewe late lakini ungekuwa na uwezo ungerudi huko akuombe mwanzo hata labda angekuombea ungeenda operation nikamwambia sasa leo ni monday anaomba lini na lini akaniambia wanafanya maombi friday friday wani deliverance alafu kuna prayers on sunday nikamwambia mungu anakusudi nikikuhadidia vile nimepanda hili gari utacheka mimi magari zilikuwa zimenikataa kwa stage akaniambia basi huyo ni Mungu alikuwa anataka hata kama utatoka hiyo operation ufanye nini uende huko na nikamwambia ninasikia nikiwa na ushuhuda bado kwa nini nilikataliwa mara ya kwanza manake last week nikaanza kumwadidia vile last week nilikataliwa after nimefikwa kwa faili yangu akaniambia Mungu alikuwa na sababu urudi nyumbani ili tukutane na we this week ukitoka theater uende uone man of god wapendwa nilienda akili yangu ikiwa inagonga kwa ili kanisa lenye sijai fika akili yangu inaniambia hata kama wanaweza nipea nafasi kidogo nitoroke hospitali nikuje hapa nionane na man of god kisha nirudi nikasema mungu taniongoza kwa bagi yangu nilikuwa nimebeba bible nilijiweka katika maombi operation time ya operation ikafika ikaenda through nikarudi nyumbani nikirudi nyumbani akili yangu iko lazima nifike kwa ili kanisa so mamangu akasafiri akatoka ushago kuja kunitembelea kwa ajili ya kuenda operation alipofika hapa nikamwambia mam uko mgonjwa naweza tumia lugha sisi ambapo sio vizuri sisi kwa familia yetu mamangu ana shida ya, ya mguu wa right watoto wake watano shida ya mguu wa right nikaambia mam mam itabidi unajua mimi napenda maombi kwa gari nilipata rafiki akanielekeza so tunaenda wapendwa nilifika hapa 
hata kukaa ilikuwa vigumu na nilikuwa sasa niko na one week ilikuwa vigumu kwa wale ambao nilikuwa nimekalia nao karibu kukaa ilikuwa ngumu nimechoka nimeshindwa kabisa mamangu naye huu mguu ambao wa unamuuma plus alipata accident last year mguu wote ukapasuka hivi mguu ulikuwa unamuuma ikabidi tumpangie sweta hapo juu ili awekeshe mguu wakati Mungu ali direct man of God kwetu atufikie ile mu request nikamwambia man of God naomba niko na shida fulani ya operation akaniambia ni sawa Mungu anajua shida yako venye umefika hapa na pia huyu ni mamangu nili receive instant healing tumbo ilikuwa imechoka ilirudi ilikuwa light mguu ulikuwa unaniuma hata venye nilikuwa nimekuja hapa na huo mguu umeniuma kitu kama one year nao huo mguu nilianza kutembea wapendwa nashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa yale yote ambayo alinifanyia ushuhuda wa mamangu mamangu man of god alipomuombea mimi nitasema mimi nikiwatch hata YouTube ama TV mi uona watumishi wa Mungu wakipatia church wa, I mean one of church member mwenye amekuja hapo pesa lakini sijawahi ona kwa familia yangu man of god akipeana pesa kwa familia yangu lakini man of god alichukua pesa akapatia mamangu 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 kutoka nyumbani akuje kuniona alikopa pesa ndipo saka kuja kuniona Mamangu ni four years alikuwa mkona hezi aka stretch hezi akakusalimia vizuri lakini man of god alipokuwa in prayer za kimuombea aliona hiyo shida akamwambia unaona huo mkono wenye uko na shida ndio nataka uchukue na huyu pesa man of god alipea mamangu pesa man of god pesa yenu dipea mamangu mamangu kuja hapa Nairobi hajaitoka na pesa hapa Nairobi hivyo family family members kila mtu alikuwa anatumia mamangu pesa afta kutoka hapa baka kwa nyumba ilibidi sasa yeye ananunua chakula before I travel ambapo huwa ninaona ikifanyika kwa familia zingine lakini huu mwaka nimepitia operation na baraka imekuja kwa familia yetu imizo nawaambia wapendwa mtakuwa hapa man of god atawafikia awaombe asipokufikia bora umefika kwenye hili kwenye hili kanisa bora umekanyaga kwenye haya madhabahu siku yako kama imefika plus imani yako utaponywa utakombolewa na utaendelea na utakuwa mbarikiwa amen yeah,